current location for the Cupid's Argue Run is located here in Midtown. For future information about the event and organization, visit cupidsunderrun.com. For the Omaha News, I am Arnelli Ballard. Students who didn't have big plans during spring break volunteered to be a part of the seven days of service by interacting with other students and volunteering in their community. Not only will UNO's new arena accommodate student athletes, but it'll also accommodate the student life as a whole. The Cupid Undie Run event took place here in Omaha at the Midtown Crossing in Turner Park. Local registered runners have raised $27,000 for the Tumor Foundation and anticipates the goal of $43,000 soon. The GJ set the dance floor with tunes to get the runners pumped up with body heat in order to avoid the 19 degree weather they would be racing in. The event consisted of runners getting together and having fun before the big race began. Suzanne Diffenbaugh, the director of the event, informs us the true meaning behind the run. Along with other racers, Aaron is supporting the fundraiser because of his very own daughter, Jen, who is 16 and was diagnosed with a tumor since the age of nine. He speaks on how they've had many MRIs and doctor visits, but yet to find the right cure for her. He says his daughter would be very proud of him. The Omaha location for the Cupid's Ugly Run is located here in Midtown. For future information about the event and organization, visit cupidsunderrun.com. For the Omaha News, I am Arnelli Ballard. It's the season for student elections on the UNO campus. Plastered all over walls are posters encouraging students to go out and vote for their favorite classmate to make a difference for the student body of the university. After nearly 600 votes and a deliberate decision, Brock Lewis won the title as president of the student body for UNO. He tells us his goals for the upcoming year. Well, Amanda and I's three platform ideas were to increase communication between administrators and students to cultivate student development and improve campus life, but the first task for the year is to go to as many students as possible, reach out and find out what students want from UNO, and from what we get from that information, we'll go forward and try and make UNO a better place. Amanda Anderson, the coordinator of the election, tells us how students can sign up to be a part of the student government. Advice I'd give to future students is if you have any idea or anything you want to see changed on campus, go ahead and apply. Reach out to student government. Do anything that you can, um, you can possibly do just to get your name, get your ideas out there, and apply early. And it's never too late to reach to somebody in student government to get your ideas and um, points across. Brock Lewis has been a part of student government since his freshman year. His goal is to make his voice heard within the administration and give students what they want and what they deserve. For the Omaha News, I am Aureli Villard. Earth Day is an annual celebration held in April worldwide. It's to help demonstrate support for environmental protection around communities. To help support the cause, UNO has held campus activities each day of the week for students, such as learning how to recycle and giving out free potted flowers. Well, we're giving out free potted plants to celebrate Earth Day. Maverick Productions and Student Government partnered together and made it so that students could all get free potted plants. Actually an annual event, so they do it every year, so you can look forward to having it again next year. <laughs> As one of the campus's five key priorities, UNO is spending a full week celebrating Earth Day with different activities for students. I had originally thought to give it to my girlfriend, but she doesn't live here, so I would think I'd like to keep it alive as long as I can and plant it. I know you don't drown them, and they need sun, and that's about it, but I'm pretty sure when they get big enough, I have to take them out of this pot because the roots will need more space. Other activities held besides free potted flowers were free water bottle giveaways, recycling raffle tickets, and a waste sort. For the Omaha News, I am Aureli Villard.